so in this video we are going to see what is AWS CLI and we'll also see how we can configure CLI to interact with AWS resources so before configuring AWS CLI or command line interface just see what is AWS CLI and why we need it okay so for C AWS CLI or command line interface is unified tool to manage your AWS services so in a common term I would say whenever you are working with AWS you are creating EC2 instance or you are creating S3 bucket so all these things you are creating through a console you just go to the console you click couple of buttons or you create your uh, instance or you create your S3 bucket so instead of doing that you can use the CLI just with a few commands you can create your EC2 instance you can create your S3 bucket and the CLI is a single CLI for all AWS services so that is why it is a unified tool to manage your AWS services so it is not the case that you need to install separate CLI for S3 bucket, separate CLI for EC2, separate for RDS. No, not that is the not case. Okay. So here it is a unified tool. It means using a single CLI you can manage all your AWS services. You can control all services, you can automate through the script. Now what is the main benefits of CLI? So suppose you are having a hundreds of EC2 instances in your AWS account and your requirement is just I'm just giving an example your requirement is so you have to you have one particular release and now you have to just stop all 100 EC2 instances and after release you have to start EC2 instances so if you go manually it will take a lot of time you just go into each EC2 instance stop it or if you are doing it through console there are chances of some errors so instead of we can use the CLI we can use this AWS CLI commands to stop your 100 instances in one go you can start this in one go so that is the one example the same example I can give if you want to create uh, S3 bucket so we are using a Terraform that is a separate case but just to do any kind of operation any kind of automation scripting the CLI will be very useful and that is the main use of AWS CLI so you can automate tasks using shell script you can just integrate with command line tools and it is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux so you have to just configure your CLI for the particular OS and you can use it without any issue and executing command to interact with AWS services it will just bypass you to go to the console and interact on the console so it provides a flexible output for suppose while your automation script you need output you are just listing suppose 100 EC2 instances and then you have to process that list so it will give the flexible output if you want output in JSON format there is an option to get output in JSON format there is option to get output in CSV or in a table format so there are different flexible options to get output of your CLI but now this was kind of the conceptual part now how to work with the CLI how to install CLI so that we are going to see in this video now first I'll show you that CLI is already installed in your AWS console so you have to just open the AWS shell I'll just go on my AWS console and I'll show you how we can start using AWS CLI without installing it in your local so now I am on my AWS console and you can see button here cloud shell so if you open a cloud shell here AWS CLI will be pre-configured you don't need to install additional things here so okay so let me just do CLS here okay now if I have to check AWS version it will show me the CLI version installed and you can see it is already installed AWS CLI now suppose I want to check how many S3 buckets are there so common option I will go to S3 from console I will check what are the buckets I will just suppose open S3 in new tab so it will take a lot of time for me if I am working on any of the tasks so if I am using CLI I can simply do AWS S3 LS and it will give me list of S3 buckets available in my project so currently I am having only one bucket that is sample S3 bucket 001 so from console my internet is a bit slow but yeah, you will see the same result from a console as well okay now how we can configure this AWS CLI in my laptop so suppose I want to use this CLI command from my CMD or I'll go with the PowerShell okay so I have to use CLI in my PowerShell I have to check how many S3 buckets are there for my local I have to just configure it with my PowerShell how I can configure AWS CLI or AWS command line interface in my local system so I'm going to show you here first see if we have any version installed here 
so if I do AWS version currently the term is not recognized it means we do not have AWS CLI installed here for now so let's minimize it here okay this page is open just to verify S3 buckets so currently you can see there is only one bucket and the same result we got here as well okay. so I'll just close this now and we'll see how we can install AWS CLI for Windows okay so I just open this one and I just open this one as well okay so here I'll just scroll down here your option to install AWS CLI for Linux, Mac, OS, Windows I'll go with Windows and you can directly just download from here or you can do it through MSI but I'll just go with manual approach here okay so I'll just download here and then I'll install it so I'll just open it okay so please wait next 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 and install so it is installing AWS CLI for me so I'll just pause this video for a couple of minutes till the time it get installed now you can see it just finished installation I'll just click on finish and now I will check in my PowerShell if this AWS CLI is working fine or not okay so I'll just close this one and I'll open a new PowerShell instant okay and I'll just type AWS version and now you can see now it is showing AWS CLI 2.22.4 is installed but now if I can check how many buckets are there from my local definitely we have to configure it but just I'll try it okay so let's see what will be the output here could not connect to endpoint s3 com so our bucket is in region ap south one so let's see here if you can error occurred invalid access key but it does not exist in the, our records so we have to first configure AWS CLI so I'll just type AWS configure and it will ask us for access key so how I can provide so what I will do I'll just create one a dummy key so I'll go to console okay and I will create one dummy users I'll just go here I'll go to users I'll create user I'll give the name as my CLI user you can give any name so here provide user access to AWS console I will not select this I just want to use it for my CLI so I'll click on next okay now I'll just create it I will not assign any permissions okay I'll just create it first create users so I created user but currently no permissions are assigned to this users so once this user is created I will just open this users I'll go to security credentials okay I'll just go on create access key for CLI next just select this I'll just give the CLI create access key. okay now it created access key and secret access key so I'll just copy this and here in PowerShell I'll paste this key enter now the secret I'll just copy this I'll just paste it okay default region I'll just AP south 1 default output I'll give JSON okay now I'll try to see AWS see LS let's see it should give us a permission denied now you can see 
this different this error is different it was related to invalid SSK. now this error is access denied when calling the list bucket operation so it is not having access to list our buckets because we haven't provided any kind of permissions so I'll go back to the users just keep done here continue okay so I'll go to users okay and now I'll provide a three bucket permissions so I'll just go to add permissions okay so I'll just attach policy directly and I want to give S3 bucket permissions so I'll give S3 full access next add permissions so now the permissions are added and now I'll check from my local the same command okay it should list me bucket now you can see it allowed to access or list bucket now now I want to create one bucket for my local so I'll just do AWS S3 make bucket and name I will give CLI test 01 so let's see if it will create bucket or not so it created a bucket now let's verify it on console so here currently you can see there is only one bucket which is sample let me refresh now you can see two buckets CLI test 001 we have configured our AWS CLI in our local Windows system and we tried to interact with AWS services like S3 bucket we created sample S3 bucket as well so hope you understood now how to create AWS CLI how to configure it in your local system so if you stuck somewhere or if you have any doubt just let me know in comment section so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in a further video